Hello guys, welcome back to Vichara Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Street Fighter is crashing, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, black screen and all these kind of issues and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about, we need to start with a simple restart, for that we just need to click over here on this icon, go for this one and start with a simple restart. So try doing with a simple restart. This is actually a very basic step. You can try with this. If it's not working, let's move to the next step. That is all about verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to follow the instruction like this. So all we have to do is we just need to go to the game. We have to go to the game that is Street Fighter. Select this one, right click, go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular one that is called verify integrity of game file. So verify integrity of game file is actually a very important step because uh, it helps us to do so. If anything is ha having the issue, then this is definitely going to fix this up. If the files are corrupted and if files is having an issue, then this is definitely going to help you, help you guys out or else it will be causing you the issue, these kind of issues for sure. So you have to start with the verify integrity of game file. Once this reach 100%, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. Right now we are launching the game from Steam. That might be causing the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For that, we need just need to follow the instruction as it is. So for the instruction as it is, we just need to follow the instruction like this. So just do this. We have two methods. We can navigate to the installation folder. One is all about we can navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer or we can using the shortcut. So just right click over here and go to the properties, go to local file and go to the browse. They're very easily redirected to insta installation folder. If you check at the top, lock it to C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common street, fighter 6 demo. And if you click on this application, so just launch this app. Then click on this one and launch the game. Next one is all about, we can use the file explorer. For using the file explorer, just follow the instruction. Go to the file explorer over here. Go to this PC, go to local disk C. Using program file x86, scroll down and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Go to common. Now from here, we just need to go to Street Fighter over here. Just go to Street Fighter. Now from here, go over here and launch the game. This can also be done. So try launch the game. That's what we have to do. And move on to the next one is all about. We need to try with this one. That is, we need to launch the game as an administrator. For launching the game as an administrator, we have to right click over here, go to properties, go to local file. Now from here, go to browse. Now, as you can see from here, this is the application. So right click over here, go to show more options, go to properties, compatibility. Now from here, just click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. That's what we have to try as the first step. If that's not working, we need to try with the second step. That is, we need to run the game and compatibility mode. For those, just right click over here, go to show more options, go to properties, compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program in compatibility mode. Try with Windows 7 and go for apply and OK. Windows 7 is not working, try with Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. That's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to make sure the Windows language is English. Over here, if you cross check, you can see the language is English. We need to set the language to English. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, go to time and language. Now from here, go to language and region. Over here, you can find the English is being set. So just click on the add language and search for English. Now set the language to English and make sure the country or region. This should be our country because I'm from India. So I have to select India as it is. Now go back and go to the date and time. Make sure the time and if the time zone is being automatically turned off, you have to turn this on manually. And once you set the time and time zone is correct, just close everything and go back and see whether the issue is solved. Issue is still persisting. The next is all about we need to delete the saved game file. For that, we just need to go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC. Sorry, go to documents. And now from here, the game will be saved over here, like they upload that space. It will be saved here. So if the game is saved here, just need to delete it and you'll be losing all the progressions for the game. But that is fine. But this is an important step. You have to do this up. Next one is all about we need to try with 
Next one that is allow the game to window security. For that we just need to go over here in the search, go to control panel. Now go for windows defender firewall. Now go for allow Napor feature through windows defender firewall. Now from here just keep scrolling down and navigate to the game that is street fighter 6 we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to street fighter so keep scrolling down okay okay now right as you can see the street fighter is already added make sure the private and public should be enabled as well so this should be enabled so street fighter 6 is already be done and this is enabled as it is once you're done with this one, we need to add it by default. So just click on allow another app over here. If it's not there, we can add it by default. Just click on add option over here. Just click on the add. Sorry, just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local to see program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now go to the game that is Street Fighter. Now from here select this one and add it go for add so here it's not getting added because it's already having an issue so just add the game once after that it's already added that is why i'm not able to do this so once after that just go back and see whether the issue is solved or we have to move to the next step that is unplug all the usb devices so some of you guys might be playing the game with connected to the controllers or might be you might be connected to the multiple monitors as it is so if you find this just remove everything remove everything from this and remove everything from the usb ports and once you remove everything from the usb port just remove everything from the usb port and once after that what you need to do is just uh, remove everything then once you're done with this one try clicking on the play button and launch the game once the game is launched once the game is successfully launched just uh, connect back the controller if you wanted to play with the controller and see whether the issue is solved or not if that is not the case we have to move to the next one that is go for perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services and go for disable or go for apply and go for okay that might ask you for restart if restart is the case we just need to do the restart but here in the middle of video i'm gonna go for exit without a restart so once restart is being done try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that we just need to go over here right click and go to the properties make sure this is blank if this is selected you will be enabling the disable so uh, enable the steam overlay so disable the steam overlay and once after that try launch the game and that's what we have to do once you're successfully done with this one try launch the game and once it's done see whether the issue is solved or we have to move to the next step that is we need to go with the launch option so we have to give the launch option that is dx11 give the launch option and try launch the game if that's not working Try this one and go for DX12 and try launching the game. Try with DX11 or DX12 and most probably you can work this out. If still it's not working, we need to move to the next step. That is all about. We need to run the game. I mean, we need to close the unnecessary task which is running in the background. For that, we just need to close everything. Go back over here in the task manager, right click and go to task manager. And over here, you can see that there are around 84 apps which is running in the background. So even the Discord comes under the category. So if you find anything over here like Discord, we just need to select this one and go for end the task because Discord comes under the category of overlay application, which is one of the main reason. And if you find anything over here like Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburn, etc., which comes under the category of this one that's called overclocking applications. And if you find anything over here, just you need to delete it as well. So remove everything from here. And once you're done with this one and try launch the game, and that's what we have to do. Once it's been done, just close everything and go back and see whether the issue is solved or not. If that is not the case, we just need to move to the next one. That is all about. We need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here and go for graphics settings. Now from here, we need to find the game. So I have already added many games, same way we need to add it. So just click on the browse and we need to navigate to the installation folder, go to local to C, go to program file x86, go to Steam option over here, just go to Steam and go to steam apps go to common now from here you will be able to find this one called uh, street fighter select this one and add it so right now as you can see this is added so just click on the option and set this one to high performance because by default this will be let windows decide change this to high performance and this is what you have to do and once it's been successfully done you just need to save this up and that is what we have to do once it's successfully saved try launch the game because that's going to work for you for sure try this one this is an important step and you can try this out once after that launch the game that we have to try with the next one 
that is all about we need to go over here and try launching the game that is increase virtual memory for that we just need to go over here search for view advanced system settings go to advanced go for settings and go to advanced once again go for change and go for custom size and set initial size and maximum size so initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. For this we need a calculator so just select the calculator. So we need to do a calculation so I have to multiply my RAM with a constant value. So I'm just multiplying 32 GB because that is my cons uh, my RAM so multiply with a constant value that is 1024. Just multiply your RAM with 1024 and now multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 and you have to paste it and maximum size should be 1.5 times that is 32 GB into 1024 that brings you 3 that we have to go for 98304 and we have to paste it as well. Now go for OK and try launch the game that's going to help you guys out as well. Next one is all about we need to update the windows for that just go over here in the search go for settings and over here go to windows update update the windows and that's what we have to do and windows is going to work for for sure and just update the windows to latest version because we're running a latest high-end game so it has to be updated now moving to the next step is all about we need to update the graphics card which is an important step for that just go over here in the game and i'll be providing link in the description for both nvidia as well as amd the nvidia users just go over here in this link and select every details of yours including everything and once you set everything over here, just select everything. Even if you're Windows 11, just select it and go for start search. You'll be getting the latest version over here. Now from here, just keep scrolling down. As you can see, the driver version 531.98 is released date on May 13, 2023. Just download this one and install and restart the PC. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here in the same and go to the next over here in the submit. And once you find the latest version, so like Windows 11, just download and install if you're on Windows 10, just download and install once after that, try launch the game. After installing, restart the PC, which is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one is all about try installing with the Microsoft Visual C++. If it's still not working, I'll be providing a link in the description. Just download this one and install, restart the PC and try launch the game. And last and the least one is all about you have to try with uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back for uninstalling the game. Go over here, go to manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you have to install it back. But keep in mind, we should not be installing on the same local disk. Try changing the position of local disk. And these are the possible stuff which you have to try out. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.